Managing a healthy and balanced lifestyle as a student can be tough. This video will cover a few of our personal tips on cultivating wellness. While we cannot cover every aspect of well-being, we will touch on physical activity, scheduling routines, connecting with others, and self-compassion. One thing that I've started to incorporate into my life is physical activity. It started during the pandemic when I was stuck at home and classes were online. I loved going out for walks around my neighborhood. It was a time for me to be away from all screens and take a moment to breathe and be present. Now that I spend most days on campus, it is still important that I get in some physical activity. I learned that UBC Recreation offers a bunch of different fitness classes. At the start of the term in September and January, there's a week of free classes. I usually check out the classes that I'm interested in that align with my schedule. That way, I get to see what the class is like before registering for a membership. I like the range of activities to choose from, like Zumba or Spin, which is my personal favorite. I'm still a beginner in my fitness journey, but I still love working out. Hearing that sound of the f my feet hitting the pavement and that rush of adrenaline is exhilarating. Scheduling routines. Establishing routines in my life has had a significant impact on my well-being. Routines are customizable. They're a perfect tool to help build healthy habits. To establish my routines, I like to track my progress and make it fun. For example, I do a quick stretch after waking up to start the day and then mark it off my to-do list. The stretch doesn't have to be long. A few minutes every day builds consistency. I love going on hikes on a sunny weekend to celebrate the nice weather and connect with nature. After an exam, I always take a hot bath or watch an episode of The Office to de-stress and practice self-care. Our toolkit for time management is a great resource for exploring how to establish routines. When facing academic pressure, I found focusing on getting enough sleep is crucial. A relaxing routine before bed helps me unwind from the day and get a good night's rest. I like making a cup of tea and listening to some soothing music before bed, putting me in a calm and peaceful state of mind. Building a support network of good peers is important, but it can be daunting. I recently started a new school program, and I remember feeling nervous when I attended my first class. I wondered how my classmates already had their group of friends. It was lonely at first. I wanted to have my own group of friends that I could study and have fun with. I slowly started to put myself out there, and before I knew it, we formed a tight-knit group. For students who live on campus, there are a lot of social events hosted by residences. For students to be first years, I would recommend attending Jumpstart before the semester starts. It is a huge week-long event, and I met so many of my friends during it. I had such a great time that I came back as an orientation leader the next year. Self-Compassion I find showing myself compassion when navigating daily stress to be so important. I often focus on small mistakes. It's okay to give ourselves a break and acknowledge that we can't always be at 100%. By being compassionate towards ourselves, we can cultivate well-being. These are some of the phrases I use to reframe situations. Instead of, when I don't perform well in my exam, I hyper-focus on that and feel dumb, try this. I did the best that I could at the moment, and I can make mistakes sometimes. Instead of, I'm afraid to embarrass myself by doing something silly, try. It is better to try than not. Lots of people are afraid of failing. My fear is normal. Instead of, I'm not going to do well on this assignment, try. I'm going through a hard time, and I deserve the, to give myself the care I need. Staying well and maintaining a balanced lifestyle sure is a challenge. Learning some strategies to take care of myself has been paying off. I feel joy from the smallest daily activities, like taking a walk, to gradually build my wellness. That's all. Thank you all for watching.